Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, as well as Hebrews chapter 10, verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for another word from you, Lord God, a rhema word. We give you praise for it. We know that you know what we're going through right now. Bless us and keep us in all your ways, Lord God. Help us to stay with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. All right. And it's funny that um he would give me this word because I was in the prayer closet and I heard Isaiah 26, 3 earlier today. And so I made the video for that one um, as a, a word that the Lord had given me along with the word that he had given me. And so um, when I came up here to do the scripture um, and he said, Isaiah 26, 3, before he said it, he said, trust. <laughs> so, so I had to trust him that it was the same scripture as I had gotten down there. And so um, he conflated it today with Hebrews 10, 12, but let's go through Isaiah uh, 26, 3 first. You keep him in perfect peace. So when God is keeping us in perfect peace, we have to remember that this is regardless of what we are going through. When we are having a state of peace, it is a, a, a mindset that is beyond our understanding. Jesus' peace is not like the peace of the world, right? Jesus' peace is regardless of circumstance. It's that stillness. It's that quietness. It's that knowing that you have a God who created all things. Therefore, all things are under his feet. And therefore, he is going to cause you to triumph that is peace. It's peace regardless of whether you see the triumph now or not. It says you keep him in, right? That means that it, regardless of what's going on, you stay in that, right? Jesus is the prince of peace, meaning that he is a distributor of peace. He's the prince of peace. He is the one who came to bring us peace. Why? Because we were tormented from sin. We needed a savior and he provided that. He provided salvation. Remember that word salvation, when you look it up in the Strongs, it just has so many aspects to it, including our welfare. And, and he is the one who is going to be the provider of that, the distributor of that. It says you keep him in perfect peace. The him is you, right? So it says you keep him in perfect peace. The you being God, Jesus. All right. It says whose mind is stayed on you. Wow. Okay. So that, that peace is, has a little bit of a condition to it, right? And a little bit is a condition. It says whose mind is stayed on you. Wow. Okay. So our mind has to be developed in such a way that we can stay in that thing. Right. So that means that your mind is a, a huge portion of, of your peace in order for you to receive this distribution. You have to be in a certain place. Are you in that place? Well, when you receive Christ Jesus, he says he wants us to continue in prayer, right? He wants us to always be praying. He wants our mind minds to be stayed on him that way we can be kept it says because he trusts in you do you trust in the lord do you put all your hope and your trust in your king because he has everything that you need you must trust him for that amen all right you guys so the conflation scripture for this today is Hosea, I mean, Hebrews 10, 12. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for all sins, he sat down at the right hand of God. You can just see that conflation going so well together today that 
we need to put our trust in him that he died for our sins, right? We need to keep our mindset there that that is finished. We need to, to put our hope and our trust in that. And we need to have peace. We need to be distributed that peace and, and be content in it, right? It says, but when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, Christ offered a single sacrifice. He didn't have to go up and die on the cross for every person. He died for all of our sins at one time. It says he sat down at the right hand of the of God. He sat down, meaning that he was done. When people get done doing something, what do we go do? We go sit down, right? It's finished. It's done. It's complete, right? And from that seat, he is keeping us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. We need to keep our mind on him. The fact that he is seated, right? He's not dying for our sins right now. He is seated. It is finished. It is done. Stay in perfect peace. Put your trust in him. Why? He is God, your father, and he died once and for all. It's all finished. Put your trust in him. He's going to keep you in perfect peace. Keep your mindset on him. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.